Hello everybody, it's another episode of Reality Is, where words do come to life. Listen, so, I pulled up this article, and there's been a lot of talk, and again, this proves my point when we talk about elected officials who run it for office, and they make these promises of things they're going to do, they make these statements of situations they understand, and all this great stuff that you think is very convincing to the constituents that will push you forward to get elected. You start out great coming out the gate and then you screw your own self. And I'm not saying this is just a black politician thing. This is an all race politician thing. You all get up here and you make promises. We might as well have this city, these states, and th this country ran by children because what you all do is really childish and it's dumb because I don't think y'all elevators come out the basement because it's stuck. So this title right here says, Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot spent $281.5 million in federal COVID-19 relief money on police payroll. Here is the problem with this. Just the title alone. We didn't even got to read the article. It's just the title alone. Do you all know how many family members, how many families have suffered because of COVID-19? Do you know, realize how many individuals are unemployed because of COVID-19? Do you realize how many individuals are living without medical insurance because of COVID-19? Do you realize how many people have contemplated and some have succeeded in suicide because the stresses of COVID-19 have pushed them over the edge? We've seen played out across these United States multiple incidents that includes police officers doing things taking their badge and using them to their advantage without thinking about the reason uh, of what they're doing the, 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 the purpose of serving and protecting and so now as a mayor with a botch raid for a 50 year old who has a video out there where she's standing butterball butt naked because your officers botched up and went to the wrong house. We're still resonating in the back of our mind Laquan McDonald even though you was not the mayor then. So you don't think that this would cause a ruckus with people? That you take COVID relief funds that people need in this here city and you give it to the police department so they can make their damn payroll. And people sitting at home with unemployment that some of them have ran out and $800 is not enough to make ends meet and you give a damn about the police department payroll. And so what you say is screw everybody else. But make sure we pay, take the COVID relief money that the federal government gave you when you was doing all that crying about the federal government did not care. And now we find out that you didn't got money. And you take, let's round up, $300 million and you give it to the police department. Really? Is that what we're doing now? Man, life for So now you have crossed out your whole respect. All of it. You didn't you didn't you just didn't cancel it out. You didn't lost your damn mind. That's what you have done. And the city is letting employees go. They're letting them go. People, mothers with sick kids, you're firing them without them in, even having knowledge that they're being terminated because they are mother and they want to take care of their child. So you terminating people. And why? Because you all don't have no money, but clearly you had enough damn money to make sure that everybody can keep their job and continue to live. This is where we have the problem. 
with these elected officials, with you elected officials. This is why we have a serious problem right here. You took $281.5 million and gave it to the damn police department for payroll. There's businesses that's been struggling out here. There's family that could have used that money. It's COVID relief money. Police department ain't stopped working. They've been working since COVID started. But others have been out of a job. And then you get your black ass up here on the news media talking about what the government won't do. And then we find out that they did. How are you going to justify that? You can't justify it. Not whatsoever. This is why we're in the middle of COVID. And I'm going to say this again until somebody understand what I'm saying. This is a God thing. And he ain't happy. And you know what he do? He pulls the shade. He opens the curtain. He flip over the box. And you know when you have a, a wet rug outside of a door. When you raise it up all kinds of animals. Insects and bugs come crawling from under there. And that's just what has happened with this COVID relief fund from the federal government. All the bugs, all the insects have crawled from under the rug. And now we see clearly. So you ran on a campaign of things that you was going to do. You made a promise that you broke already. So when people were screaming about defund the police department, now it makes sense. That you all don't want to defund the police department. You are fund them before you fund the people who have needs. Now you'll say your budget is 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 out of whack. Y'all don't know how to fix it. Well, hell, your budget was fixed. You got money from the federal government. And you didn't spend it wisely. People at home with kids out of work, no medical, no job. And then depending on their age will determine if they get another job. God ain't pleased. He knocking y'all off. Rush Limbaugh was already one. Y'all think this a joke? It ain't no joke. This is real. You playing with his people. You doing people wrong. All up on the umbrella. I'm the elected official. And I have my constituents best interests at heart. I promise when I get in office, if you put me in office, I promise to serve. I promise that we're going to reform the prison system. I promise we're going to look at the budget. I promise that we'll make sure everyone is taken care of in the middle of COVID-19 to the best of our ability. We are here for you. That's a bunch of bullshit. That's what it is. And this article, this article right here. Yeah, this article right here proves it. See that? Article. It proves it. That you a liar. You have lied to the people. Y'all don't care nothing about justice. You all don't care nothing about being right and fair and transparent. You use your power and your position for selfish gain. And that's just what you have done. Selfish game. So what you say to the constituents, y'all don't give a damn about our feelings. Or how we feel about things. It's not important. What's important that you sit in that seat with a title. All of y'all. That's what's important. Because really y'all not doing nothing for nobody. You're hiking up taxes here and there. And I'm just waiting for Tony Prepwinkle to come up with something when we... Uh, get out of this to see what they're going to do about the property tax that people can't afford to pay. I'm just waiting. Y'all full of it. And that article has proved it. So at first, for me, I thought you was going to be different. For me, I thought you was going to do better. For me, I thought you was going to keep your word. But I see you just a, a bigger liar just like the rest of them. And it don't matter the color of your skin. Liars are liars. Manipulators are manipulators. And deceivers are deceivers. And this is what you think of the people of Chicago who put your black ass in the seat. That ain't cool whatsoever. And I'm letting you know I ain't happy. Not at all. This is why we don't have no faith and no hope right now. And nothing that you all say. 
Because it's like writing a, a check to a bank account that ain't got no money in it. It's just going to bounce back. That's all it's going to do. And that's all y'all do is write checks that has no value. With your words and your actions. You don't hold up to what you're going to say, what you're going to do. That's not what y'all do. So here we are. So now, when next time come, you can't recover from this. It's time for your ass to go. Bottom line. That's it. That's where I'm at. Hey. All right. Make sure you subscribe. Leave your comments. Hit the notification bell so YouTube can know when I upload other videos. Till we talk again.